What's up guys, it's Jack here, and this is part 2 of the electric skateboard, and we're upgrading the battery. So, here I have my rework station set to 450, and we have some nickel strips that I've cut up here, and we've got our two cells. These came from a broken hoverboard, but it was new, so the batteries are pretty good. These are 2000 milliamp hour each, so we should be getting 4000 in this sort of style 7S. So all I'm doing is I'm adding a bit of solder to the top of each of these and on the bottom and then I'm getting one of these and I'm putting it here and I'm putting some solder on each end, putting it on top and then putting the solder ring on it on top, letting it melt for a bit and then that's pretty much it because I'm not going to solder directly to the battery so I left these little tabs on so hopefully it works. Okay so so, I have finished the soldering, and as you can see, it's pretty shit. So I'm going to go around and tidy all these up, hopefully improve it. And the voltage is correct, we're getting 29.1 I think it was. So, we're pretty good. Now I just need to like, take apart the old battery, put that BMS on this one, and then connect it and test it and charge it, I guess. But I won't be doing that until I get the new screws, because they need to be longer to fit the board. Uh, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I've tidied the battery up a bit, as best as I could. Um, I went round with a little screwdriver, like this one, and pried up on a few of these to see if they pop up. Two of them popped up, so I just replaced them and resoldered them, and they're all pretty strong now. A strong connection. I put some tape around it just to hold it all together. So now I'm going to take apart the board. Uh, to take apart the battery and solder the BMS from here onto that battery. And here I have a piece of plywood that I I took this off and I put the plywood down and I drew around this with a sharpie on the wood and then I used a saw for what kind of saw it was to cut around it and then I got a ruler and just I think that's about a centimetre there, and just cut the inside out, and then did like the screw holes and everything, so it should be ready to go. And this side actually has some silicon on it that I tried to put on there to make, when it's put on the board, it makes quite a tight connection to stop the water from getting in and stuff. I'm not too sure if it's going to do anything, it probably won't, but it's still there just in case. So I bet I'm going to start taking this apart with some hex screws, which if I don't know what Oh here, see I've already taken it apart before, so you can see where they are. You just want to feel around with a little screwdriver and just sort of just poke it through and eventually it will go in a hole and just like make turn it around a bit and then screw it out. So I'll see you once it's off. Okay, so all the screws are out, so you now can turn it over and you see it's got this like foam here, so you just want to peel it out. Actually you mind a bit of paper there, that's you won't have that. I put that on here because when I put it back together, if you do it too tight, it when you turn it on it just beeps. Um, I'm not sure why it does it. Maybe it's some sort of pressure sensor or something, I don't know. But that seems to stop it. So that's what I did. So that's off. We can see the battery here. We can see it's a 2 amp, so this is a 2000 milliamp hour battery. On the advert on eBay it was listed as 2200 milliamp hour, so the listing's wrong. It also says it uses Samsung cells, so we'll see in a bit, won't we? You see, that's the pack that's currently in there. So we need to disconnect this from here and take it apart. Okay, so you want to disconnect the battery from here. And then there's another connector that's under this little cover that was actually stuck at the bottom. So you just want to get it out gently and you want to cut this off so we can disconnect it. Okay, so I've taken that off, and here's the connector that connects to the charging port there. So if I just disconnect that, the battery's also stuck down, but I have removed it before, so for me it should just come up and out. If, after I take that off there. Okay, so I have actually opened it a bit before, so what I can do now is move all this out of the way and focus on the battery. So this is probably this, like, the worst part of this because it's quite dangerous opening up a battery. So you want to be really careful and don't cut into things that you shouldn't. So just take your time and do it slowly. 
Well, I've taken all their paper off. It, they act, the cells actually look to be the same as the ones we're actually installing, which is quite cool. Uh, I don't know if it says anything there about 2000 milliamp hour, but we can see there is a balance charger because it has the cables here. So now we have to disconnect all this and hopefully just move it over to the next board. So I've also taken apart, I've just I've taken a quick look and I've just put a minus mark there because this side goes to the minus of the battery, so we need to remember that when we put it back together. So just look around it and mark anything up. Okay, so I'm still disassembling and you can pull these back like this. So you do it on each one, I need to desolder from here because we need to move this to the next battery. So I've just finished taking it off, and you can see here's all the balance cables and all the circuitry for this. So we pretty much just have to move it over from these. So these can probably be reused. If we actually wanted to, we could set this up with the battery and make it a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. But that would mean having to make a bigger everything for it to work. So we're just going to stick with what we need. So I'm going to start, so I'll need to check this, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's one, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this should be seven. Bit weird. Um, I guess seven, because that one connects to the battery anyway. Yeah, probably. Okay, so I'm going to start moving this over. Okay, so it's been a little while. And I've pretty much got everything hooked up, I believe. Now I'm just sort of like tidying it up. I've already plugged it into the skateboard and it does work, which is good. Uh, so I'm pretty much taping everything up, making sure everything's protected so all these will have tape on them. Um, and I'll try and reuse as much of this like plastic stuff as I can. I did have to take an old connector and take some cables off it to attach the negative cable and the positive one here. Other than that, I did have to cut an old computer power supply cable to get some new cables that, that I soldered here, here, here. Now look at this solder, it's so bad. Um, but yeah, if you're going to do this, I would probably recommend you just get a new BMS. They're pretty cheap. You can get one off AliExpress for like six quid, or you can get one in the UK for fifteen pound. So whatever you prefer, this one should work. And I've put it here because there's enough room. If you put it here, there won't be enough room, unless you make a bigger part. So I'm just going to tape it all up, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so this is what we have now. But not very good. But it'll probably be fine. I'm now going to go get the charger and hopefully, fingers crossed, it charges. I did have to redo a couple of these connections because they did pop off. But other than that, we should be good to go. So I'll go and try and charge it. Okay. I've got it loosely hooked up. So if we turn it on. Okay, nice. Okay, good, good. Now I've just got to plug the charger in. Okay, I pop the charger in, and it says charged, which I mean is sort of true because it is pretty fully charged. Let's just unplug it. So I'm going to put it together today, but because the screws are still coming from Amazon, but tomorrow I will hook it up. So I'm just probably going to like make sure everything fits, and I've got some foam also, so we'll see what to do. The battery is now upgraded. As you can see, I did have to miss out two screws here and here because I didn't align the wood and the battery pack properly so they don't actually fit. I only managed to get two new screws in that go all the way through and these two go just through this bit of wood. So I'm currently out testing it out and hoping that the battery will withstand any bumps in the road. So I'm testing out the, the distance now so I'll catch you in the end of the video. Okay, so it's the second day of my new battery. Maybe the third. I think it's the third, yeah. And I was just riding down to Asda, and I went over a drain that was really bumpy, and then it just turned off, and if I tried to turn it back on, it would just beep, because there wasn't enough voltage. And I've just taken it apart. Well, actually, I managed to get it back home, because I turned it on again, and it worked. 
but this one here isn't attached, so I'm just heating up my soldering iron now, so I can connect it back up. So whilst I'm here, I'm going to check the rest of the connections and make sure they're all still fine. Okay, I've just re-soldered the connector, so now it's not popping off. So I'm just going to connect the battery up to the skateboard and try it out. Okay, it's now plugged in and we're going to... Yep, it's all working fine. So I just need to put it all back together and we're done. And connect that back up from there.